Hey guys, and welcome to the first uh, executive vlog, I guess you would call it. Um, just some things on my mind that I thought I would share with everyone um, in the community, whoever wanted to listen, um, that's fine. Um, so, as I was writing the medals post for today, I realized that as of this month, there will be five of us that have been here for over three years. Um, that's a very small number. Um, you know, but it's also really cool because there are five of us that have seen CG through all of its changes. Um, and it's really, it really just got me thinking, made me reflect on ZG, what it's meant the three years. Um, I was talking to Lily earlier and she said, you know, wow, you must be like really happy, you know, ZG's three years. And like when we started it, um, I didn't really know how long it was going to last. Um, I probably didn't expect it to go past a year, if I'm honest. But, um, it has, and it's awesome, and, you know, she said, you know, you must be happy, and I said, well, I, CG gives me equal parts happiness and headache, so <laughs> there's a lot of reasons for that, but, um, but I'm willing to sort of talk about, like, where I think CG is going, where we're at, and um, go from there, so um, where we're going, I really like where we're going. We're finally expanding into new games, which has been a huge hurdle for us um, for the past three years. We've been mainly around League, which is to be expected. League is the most played game in the world. Millions of people play it. So it makes sense that it would be our biggest game and it would be the center um, of growing out. But, um, excuse me, it's also the people that play League that we tend to get tend to really like League. And they tend to play some other games, but not a whole lot. So it made it hard to find staff that were willing to go into other games and push the boundaries and explore and try to get up new divisions. Um, we did it with Smite, which is, you know, back in development right now, but it's looking really strong. Um, CSGO EU is looking really strong. We have a lot of good ECs that are being trained by um, Silly, Arch, and Arezzo, um, and they're looking like they're going to be a really good, strong group um, to move forward. Um, I'm really pleased about that. Um, where we are, Currently, um, we have great leaders out there. We promoted three new DLs this month of our league division, and they're doing well. Um, we have obviously three divisions. CSGO EU is probably going to get released soon. Um, Smite EU is looking really strong. Um, and then we have a bunch of new games like Titanfall and Wildstar and Elder Scrolls Online that are really looking good. I'm looking like they could be something. Um, a big problem that we seem to have that always creeps up that we just can't get rid of, which is understandable, but it's something that we'd like to minimize, is clicks and the drama they cause. Um, it's perfectly reasonable that every member here would find a group that they like to play with. That's fine. I mean, in a, in a community as large as us, 700 plus members, you know, almost 600 active, it makes sense that, like, you're not going to get to know everybody. Like, even in our divisions, which are growing, like, you know, past 100 members, there's no way that you can play with anyone. So there's obviously a comfort zone, a comfort group that we that we often form. And that's perfectly fine, you know. It's cool to find a smaller group within the bigger community that you like to play with and play with them a lot of the time, you know. I've had those groups. They've come and gone, and, you know, you know, that's just how it is. But what's really bad is when they start to create drama, when people either dislike someone in these groups or the whole group of people or something like that. And, you know, not everyone gets along with everyone, but we don't need to talk about it all the time. The thing that bonds your group of friends that you have found in ZG shouldn't be, let's shit talk all the other groups or let's shit talk the groups we don't like. Groups that are bound by hate or dislike of another group tend to be really weak. They need to, you know, they always have to have a target and they tend not to be positive. They tend to be very toxic in communities and eventually, you know, people get upset with them. Um, so, and there's been a lot of that in various divisions and various groups, you know, even in administration, you know, these have been problems that we've had to deal with. So I just want everyone to kind of take a step back, look at your group of friends, and make sure that that your group isn't being part of the problem. Like, don't like if you don't like someone in another group, that's fine. You don't have to like everyone, but 
you also don't need to talk about it all the time, you know, you don't need to bring things up or criticize everything the other people do or, you know, wait for them to make a mistake that you can jump on or something like that. Um, so that's really important. Um, the only bad thing about clicks is um, sometimes leadership gets involved in these, and which is fine, you know, readers will also, they're just like members, they will have groups that they like to play with, but sometimes they can forget that they're also leaders and they are responsible for fostering growing connections and more friendships in their division. And it's important for any leaders out there listening to remember that you have your friends and that's great, but you also have a responsibility that you accepted by being a leader to foster growth with others and try to bring others into the division to make them feel a part of it. You know, big numbers and big divisions when we go on recruiting is, is great, but what's really difficult is keeping those numbers once we get them. Um, retention is a huge thing. It's a huge issue that we need to um, always keep in mind. And our leaders in our divisions and our trial divisions, you know, are responsible for bringing those new members together so they can find their group of friends. Um, you know, and they may do that through a game night. They really like playing with someone. They add them, say, hey, you know, I like playing with you. Why don't we play together? And that could be the start of something amazing that you may have already found with your group. So try to remember that. Um, I've had a bad habit lately, and I know other leaders do too, of just hanging out by themselves in the Leadership Team Speak channels. Um, I'm going to try not to do that, maybe hang out in the member lobby a bit more where other people can come in and like talk to me, um, because we shouldn't be reclusive. People shouldn't be afraid of coming to us. Um, they should be open. They should, you know, it should be very easy to come to us, um, which is another thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, I've been hearing a lot of people or through the grapevine kind of, that people have concerns that they would like to maybe bring to me or to others, but they feel like they already know what I'm going to say, or they're afraid of me or others, like, rejecting it or something like that. Like, please, please, please don't be afraid. Like, I don't know how many times that, like, people have come to me with ideas that I either dislike or that um, I, you know am not fond of, and then we talk about them, and then we end up coming up with some really great idea, um, you know? So opening that discussion is important. So never feel like you can't come to me or another leader with your concerns or with your ideas or suggestions, you know? Um, it may be something we've already tried before. It may be something we haven't. But I want to hear what you have to say because... Those of us that are in administration and leadership, we can't come up with all the ideas, you know. We're, we have just as much capacity as, uh, to come up with these things as you guys do, so please, like, please come to us with your ideas. We would love to hear them. I would love to hear them. I would love for more members to come to me with ideas and talk about things, you know. I'm an open guy. I may not agree with you, but so what, you know. We're not going to agree on everything. Um, that is an issue that I have to tell a lot of people a lot of the time, like, it's okay to disagree, and that's fine, you know, so please don't, uh, never be afraid, and I hope that I'll start hearing from many of you soon. If you're still not comfortable coming to me, but you still want to say something to me, um, you can use the anonymous suggestion form, which there is a link, there's several links on the forum, ways to get to it, um, I can't remember right now, there's like an actual link in the open form you can click, so, um, submit those, they're anonymous, so we can, you know, at least... The leadership can discuss your idea, and that's a good way, a good compromise, I guess. Um, some of you might be wondering, Matt, is this going to be a series? Um, maybe? I don't know. I don't have any plans for it. This is just some things that I had on my mind that I wanted to get out there. You know, maybe I'll try and do, like, a little monthly thing. Um, maybe after we have, like, boardroom meetings or something like that. Um, give me some feedback. Tell me if this is something that you would like to see more of. And maybe you will, but maybe you won't. I don't know. <laughs> uh, thanks for listening. Uh, keep having fun in ZG.